Um, oh, we moved on a bit. There's Jeff. Pretty angry, I think, at me. I took my eyes off the road. Yeah, he's angry. He's he started bumping me. No, he didn't. I'm just really worried that he's angry at me. Yeah, but we've had a look at the exhaust and it has a beastie hole in it really. So uh, luckily, I um, I bought loads of clamps and gum gum and aluminium tape and stuff like that. So we're going to try and get to Astana with it sounding like an absolute monster. Look at a lot of low tyre pressures, where is that just a flat? Oh yeah. Sounds like some beastly V8. So yeah, the track that end of the days of Maria being 100%. Here we are 100% again. Go we hit Star, fix her up. Confident we can do it. Yeah, I think we will. We have to leave overnight, so we've got to get to the hotel first. Yeah, that cool down a little. Yeah, exactly. Can't work. So this is what it sounds like now driving along. You sound like an old local van. She feels more speedy, mate. If anything else. Does it? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Well, I suppose as as Ed, as Ed said, bypass the. Oh, that's loud. Right, go back onto the road up here. Yeah. Get off this fucking track. Oh, oh, it's another thing to add to our list. I'm really looking forward to doing our repair. Last the roads have improved. After about 30 miles. Beautiful accommodation, as you can see through this lovely little town. Everywhere is just derelict, entirely derelict. No windows at all. Now it's like place after another. One place, two place. That one's not loads. down. Uh, See loads of them. Oh, there's more on this side. Just constant derelict. Where's the road going? Uh, straight on. Yes. Kind of lost in this place as well. Not really much signage to be honest. Oh, big stone, big, big stone. Oh, this is a good road. Go down there, yeah. It's east, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, this is this place is terrible. It certainly is. Look, there's a lot more places. Derelict. Bloody Kazakhstani. The playground look mate. Oh, it's wow. really appetizing. Should we go and have a have a go? Yeah, that should be nice. Cool. Hey, no peace, mate. Okay. That car's absolutely lost. Hopelessly lost. Let's see this guy. It's complete so You can tell we're on a yellow road.
sets off at 5.30 local uh, time. Yeah. Which is what, about 12.30 English time? Eh? Yeah, 12.30 English time. We want you to get to a starter, walk into a hotel, have a sleep, have a wash. Instead, somehow, we managed to head on a road heading south, very south, thinking, but we thought we were on the right road, so we never doubted ourselves. We head, a, we head 130 miles down this road. I bottom out the car twice. We go to some sort of city which the Kazakhstani people tried to make. It turned out there was nothing there except for empty houses. And, and a few random old people who'd never read a map before. So we had to head 130 miles back in the direction we came from, down the worst road to the Kazakhstan. Yeah, and the exhaust is broken. And yeah, you may be able to hear the exhaust is busted. I think that was like stuck in here, the exhaust. Yeah. Just hoping that when you, when you get to a hotel, let it cool down and then we can fix it and let it. So nice, so nice. We've got some chewing gum stuff. But it has been one of the worst days of the rally by a long way. I look rough as hell. Oh my god. I'm going to put my glasses back on now, I think. Yeah, we're looking pretty off, mate. Ooh, well, at least we've got a good road going into Astana. I'm just so confused because we're going down this road and it was just absolute crap. Like, how can this be a road to the capital city? And this is the road to the capital. So it's 20 past 10 local time. Oh, oh I'll, I'll, I'll do this. So it's 20 past 10 local time, and we've had the worst day of the rally by a long way. We've just lost all our ratchets. Well, the ratchet strap has snapped. On our tires. Tried to smash our window. Exhaust is on the way out. Uh, roads are absolutely diabolical. Uh, we were crawling along, trying not to lose our uh, jerry cans off the roof. When um, we, um, we, this look, guy waved us down. He'd, he'd overtook us and waved at us, and he speaks really good English. And uh, he's invited us back to his house for the night because his son, who must be around our age, I'd imagine, yeah. uh, speaks perfect English, and he offered us a bed and a shower. And uh, maybe, uh, hopefully, we can get the vodka flowing. I think he's got uh, one he's got Yeah, an Audi he's got an Audi A6. He's a farmer, apparently. He's yeah, some he kind of farmer. He told me not to be afraid of him. He's got his wife in the car. He's got his wife with a Siamese cat in there. <laughs> I think it was a cat, I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, we're not quite sure, really. But these roads are absolutely diabolical. He's slowing down like a beast for us. Sorry, mate, we're not locals around here. We, we, we're used to driving on that weird thing called tarmac. It's going to be a late night because he will be wanting to chat for ages. God, yeah. Yeah, oh well, we can sort of... Oh, it's going to be... I hate mornings in someone else's house as well. What the hell do we do? We're going to be so confused Ooh. as to where we are. Hello! Do we walk down our pants? <laughs> oh, it's not... Low, it's not... No problem, man. Oh, hello, no problem! No problem! He's going to go for it. Though. Oh, no. Leave it second gear. Uh, God, we nearly have fuel as well. Oh, we've got a little bit. Okay, we'll have enough. Oh, here comes, comes a dodgy maneuver, mate. Yeah. Maybe he's a farmer, he must live on the outskirts. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm willing to abuse him and pay him in dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as long as we have a, we, we say we can have a shower, so that's fine. I mean, we've got, we can give his uh, wife the jewellery and give up his necklace. So we're still following this guy now. It's what time is it? 20 past 11. Yeah, 20 past 11 local time. 